Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Eat, Smoke, Drink. Um, in today's episode, I am very excited to try the brand new Ardbeg 19 year old Trivan. So, a little history on why this is such an exciting time. This was released literally just one week ago, it was shipped to the doors one week ago, and um, there's been a lot of fanfare around it because Ardbeg actually has a very loyal following, me included. Uh, I mean, look, I just love Ardbeg, to be honest. A lot, you know, most of their whiskies are pretty good. Um, now, the reason why this has a lot of fanfare is because it's been 20 years since Ardbeg released an age statement, um, older than 10, an age statement in their core line of products. So they have limited editions and limited runs and things like that, um, but this is the part of their core run. And it's a 19 year old, it's called the Trivan. And as you can see here, um, there is a serial number, batch number, um, and it tells you about the whiskey and it tells you about the, you know, um, the, old, the, the, the youngest part of the whiskey that they've got in here to tell you that it is 19 year old, uh, 19 years old. Um, it is a 46.2, a mix of American oak and Oloroso sherry. So it's pretty exciting because a lot of, um, uh, you know, the Ardbeg 10, for example, is predominantly a bourbon barrel, um, but this one here is a mix of bourbon and sherry. And so, yeah, very exciting to test it today because it's literally released a week ago. So I'm going to, a little bit of water in that sample and no water in this and let's get nosing. Mmm. I mean, you're getting the quintessential Ardbeg notes in there. Campfire, burning wood, burning leaves, but it's not so pronounced on the nose. Very silky, it's got a very silky smell. And because I'm not tasting it yet, I'm just smelling it for now. I can smell a very syrupy, um, a very syrupy smell, almost like um, a reduced, you know, like when you put sugar, um, in, in, a, in a pan, a little bit of water and you reduce it and it's just getting thicker and thicker. Oh, it's got a very nice sweet smell to it. I'm getting a little bit of dark chocolate, cacao, a herbal note to it, tarragon, licorice, definitely licorice. A bit of sarsaparilla, but more licorice. And a little bit of white pepper as well. It's just a very subtle white pepper. Oh, very, very nice, very nice nose. Very nice nose. Quite leathery, like a wet leather. And the sherry, the sherry smell must be, it's not very, inf uh, it's not a huge influence right now that I can smell, it's not a huge influence. The vanilla, coconut of the bourbon barrel, definitely, definitely, um, the influence is there but the sherry I'm not getting too much of the sherry I'm not getting too much raisin I'm not getting too much cinnamon Christmas cake um, I mean I'm not getting too much of that yet so maybe the sweetness is from that but I'm not getting too much of it mmm very nice to nose let's give the water sample a try And the smoke is definitely a little bit, subs um, has subsided a little bit with the water. Fruits coming out a little bit more with the water. That's quite interesting. A little bit of a ginger spice, which is quite typical of Ardbegs actually. Toffee, caramel. And I'm getting a little sickly sweetness to it. Um, I'm getting a little sickly sweetness to the water sample. I'm thinking, I can't put my mind to it, but it's um, almost like a bit of a, like cream, like a creamy, a creamy sickly sweetness to it. Mm, very complex on the nose. I'm quite excited to take a sip. So let's take a sip. Very excited. I mean, this is, um, yeah, everyone's been looking forward to something like this, and they actually, the marketing prowess of Ardbeg was <laughs> it's exceptional. They didn't really tell anyone about this till about three, three and a half weeks before they were going to release it. And man, it was just the internet blew up with it. 
every store got phone calls, like we want a bottle, um, people were selling out cases, unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable. Oh mm, wow. Mmm. 46.2%. It's got a kick to it. Definitely got a kick to it. For 19 years old, the peat is surprisingly prominent. Now the reason why I say that is because peat, when it's aging in a barrel, the older the whiskey in the barrel with peat, the more subdued the peat becomes over time. So the phenols and the, the peat flavors itself does mellow out over time. It doesn't look like this one has mellowed out that much, so it must have started extremely, extremely high PPM and strong in peat, that even at 19 years old, at 19 years old, it's still very peaty. But it's not like um, it's not like a Lafroig peat, a distillery bottle of Lafroig peat, peat where it's like, you know, sweetness, peat, ash and water. You know, it's not like that. It's not like you're drinking cigar ash. It's um, it's relatively. Um, well integrated peat. Not the most integrated I've ever had, but hey, Ardbeg is not about integration of peat necessarily, um, but it is more integrated in terms of um, compared to Lafoy. I'm getting fruit. I'm getting, um, I'm getting a damp, damp leather, damp cloth, um, like a, a firewood shed, a little fungal, a little a fungal smell to it, like um, the start of a blue cheese funk, but stops there. Mm. I'm getting slight bitterness, almost like a grapefruit, grapefruit peel, grapefruit pith. A little citrus. I mean, it's extremely complex. As you can tell, I'm just plucking flavors out from my mouth right now. It is extremely complex. A very, very good whiskey. Mmm. Licorice, I'm getting licorice, a salty licorice, salinity, I'm getting a Dutch licorice, you know there's really hard tabs, not a soft sweet licorice coated in chocolate, although there is some chocolate flavours to it, like a, a cacao bean, um, but it's more, I'm getting that Dutch, Dutch licorice, salty, herbal, uh, earthy, mm, definitely, earthy, leaf litter, organic matter. Let's try it. Mm. With the water, it changes quite dramatically. I'm getting more rubber. I'm getting more fresh rubber, um, smoldering rubber, campfire. With water, it actually extenuates the peat a lot more. The peat, the rubber, the burning smell, the campfire, the smoke, it's extenuated a lot more. I'm getting some minerality, uh, salinity, the same salinity, minerality, kind of similar. Herbaceousness is more pronounced with the water. I mean, it's, it's, it's extremely complex. I mean, it's a mouthful. Mm. Now it says on the description, interesting, because I'm not tasting it actually. I mean, smoky pineapple, I'm not, I'm not getting that at all. I, I'm not getting the pineapple, which is, you know, strange that they have that, so I'm not getting it. The wood smoke, yes, the aromatic wood smoke in the description, I'm definitely getting that. Um, chili chocolate, I'm getting the chocolate, not the chili, but there is a heat that lingers, a heat that lingers. Whether or not you can say that's chili, I guess you could, but I wouldn't say it's like a, a Thai red chili or something like that. Um, it's not sharp, it's a very, very gentle heat. I'd say maybe more a jalapeno side, a green capsicum side of a heat. Uh, I'm getting pine resin in there. But look, this whiskey is exceptionally, exceptionally complex. The finish lingers. I'm still tasting it, it's not going away. The taste is, is just lingering the whole time. The, the smoke, you're not going to get rid of that. If you're gonna have this, have it at the end of the night, or only have this. Don't mix it up with other sweeter whiskies because once you've had this, you're not gonna have um, much room for improvement there. Mmm. A fantastic dram. Would I buy it? Yes, I would. 
um, it is on the high side, but you know you can get 19 year old whiskey that's slightly cheaper. But because it's Ardbeg, you're just going to have to pay the Ardbeg price, unfortunately. And um, this is this is about 230, 220, 230 USD. So it's, it is up there, but it is also very collectible. So you could probably buy two, drink one and keep one, and then just you know every year just buy one and keep it as investment and just let it and sit on it. Um, cigar pairing this is going to handle pretty much any cigar you want peppery it'll match it with its heat um, sweet maduro it'll balance out the peat and the the the, the, pe uh, the, the spice of this um, you can have something in between this will be very versatile with pretty much any cigar this you, you, I'll, I'll be hard pressed to find a cigar that'll drown the flavors of this this will probably do the other way it'll probably drown more cigar flavors than the other way around so look thank you for joining me today it has been an exceptional, exceptional tasting, and as you can see, I'm extremely excited about it. Um, thank you for um, Sunny. Th thank you to Sunny for Sunny. Thank you to Sunny from Bottle O Hillcrest um, here in Hamilton, New Zealand, for sponsoring me in this tasting today. <laughs> and um, look, I would love it if you could hit subscribe and hit that little bell because um, I have more awesome awesome tastings and episodes coming out some rare whiskies some limited edition whiskies and i'd love you to join me in my journey but look if you have any questions about it if you want to know of anything about it please let me know um, and i'm happy to answer your questions and see you again until next time Slancha.